Hello and welcome along to British Brass Band then. I'm Andy, bass trombone extraordinaire. Well, I'm not really an extraordinaire, I'm absolutely terrible, but I'm trying every day, trying to improve. Um, I said I wasn't going to put a video out until after the areas. Um, however, I felt like there's a couple of relevant um, subjects that I'd like to, to discuss before the areas. So one of which is a recent announcement that there's going to be no warm-up um, room available for us um, before our contest. Um, and secondly, um, I want to just discuss how I prepare for a contest, so how I get over nerves. So I'm, this is this video is just going to be looking at the um, recent announcement from the areas, and I'm going to put another video out during the week about my preparations for the contest. So we've recently received an announcement over the weekend that there is no um, facility for warming up before the contest. There has been a booking error and the rooms have been double booked. So we have not got one available. Obviously, I'm not particularly happy about that because I have a routine I like to go through. But equally, there's absolutely nothing that I can do about that. I can't change it. I've got to just think, right, this has happened. What do we do instead? And this is an example of when the worst is brought out in people. So contesting, unfortunately, does bring out the worst in some people with arguments, with abuse, and it's just not acceptable. So my view is the organisers are at fault here, and I believe by the wording from the messages that we've received, it's uh, the fault of the venue, not the organisers. So sending abuse to the organisers is just not acceptable. Sending abuse in general is not acceptable because it's not going to change the situation. And frankly, it's just going to make you look like an idiot. Um, brass banding is something that we do for a passion um, and it's something that we enjoy. So any abuse of any any kind is just completely unacceptable. So I've got to think now, I've got to think about an action plan. So on the day, we've got a warm up um, session booked at a local venue where we're going to do a final rehearsal. But up until going on stage, I do like to run through a warm up routine. Every other band is going to be in exactly the same situation. So I've got to think pragmatically, how do I deal with this? Obviously, I'm not going to get the warm up just before I go on stage that I'd like. However, I've got options. So I can, what I'm thinking of doing is taking my trusty Dennis Wick uh, mute with me and just going in the car park opposite the venue and just blowing out some long notes, working on my lower register, just to really get my lip in as much as humanly possible. Thankfully, I don't really need to hit any low notes um, or anything that's really going to push my lips until a good way into the piece. Um, so generally speaking, as long as I've, I've had a blow in the morning and I've had a bit of a warm up, maybe in the car park opposite the venue um, beforehand, um, I should be absolutely fine and I'm not really concerned. And I think this is something that you need to consider yourself. You're not, nothing is going to change the situation. All the moaning in the world isn't going to change anything. So you've got to just think realistically, how do we deal with this? And this is just the reality of life. You know, we, we always get care balls thrown at us and it's just how you overcome them. You can't change it, what are you going to do to solve it? So for me, if you've got one, take a practice meet with you and then just try and find a quiet spot. And there's going to be hundreds of players in exactly the same situation. So I'm assuming that the car park will probably be full of people just blasting out. And it'd probably be quite funny to be honest. I am going to be taking my camera, so hopefully I can get some pictures if, if anything like that funny happens. But I just felt like I needed to put a short video out just to illustrate my thoughts on the matter. I can't do anything about it. I'm not best pleased about it, but equally, I don't think the um, organizers are at fault. So I think it's unnecessary to throw any blame at them. Um, and I just got to get on with it. And uh, as I like to say, build a bridge and get over it. Can't change it, just deal with it. And that's my thoughts. I'm going to be putting another video out in a couple of days just um, on how I prepare for um, contests, you know, how I deal with nerves and some sort of um, ideas that may help you along. Until then, have a great time and uh, have a great time. What am I talking about? Have a great day, week, whatever, until I see you again and keep parping.